This is a short recording to help break unwanted and outdated patterns. For most habits we create are useful. An autopilot means our brains have become so good at doing something we can tune out our conscious minds. So we can get dressed, we drive, walk, clean our teeth, make a cup of tea. And don't need much mental attention. But quite often patterns can be our downfall too. We allow negative thoughts and feelings to come to us in a mindless way on autopilot. And we're all experts at being negative. Because quite often we don't allow ourselves any credit for the good things that we do and the good things that we think. So by spending a few minutes listening to this recording and practicing pat interruption, those negative thoughts will slow down and eventually stop. And habits are created as children and adults. And we see other people. We might see our mum or dad or siblings screaming at a spider. And eventually we learn that and that becomes a habit that we too are scared of spiders. We might have had a negative experience, maybe at the hospital or a doctor's appointment. And every time you think of that, you, you feel anxious or worried and that's become a habit. So we are all experts at creating habits. And if we are experts at creating, we can uncreate and create new positive habits. But this doesn't happen overnight, this takes practice. So always take a beginner's mind. And when you're learning a new skill, you are a beginner. Don't have expectations to be successful after the first attempt. Keep trying and one day it will happen automatically on autopilot. And the best way to interrupt a pattern is with a bit of a shock. Something unexpected or sudden. And maybe recently you've been chatting to a friend or a family member, telling them a story and they've interrupted you and then you can't remember what you were talking about. Experiencing momentary confusion. And maybe you've gone to go upstairs to get something and then your phone rings and you've forgotten what you're going upstairs for. These are all ways to interrupt a pattern. You were going upstairs on automatic pilot and something distracted you. And you can think of some ways that you can interrupt your own state of mind. Humour, laughter, they're great pattern stoppers. And maybe whilst you're having a negative thought about yourself, I can't do this, I'm, everything's going wrong, oh my life's just terrible, shouting a random word, banana, carpet cleaner, pink socks, anything like that that's got nothing to do with anything. Think of a joke. But this takes practice and a lot of work. But as soon as you feel yourself becoming negative, I can't do this. Oh, my life's terrible. It's all going wrong. Maybe you could have a physical action, clenching and unclenching your fists, waving your arms in the air. Creating new habits. Driving a different way to work. Going for a walk, but walking in, walking in a new direction. Breaking habits, such as watching TV or checking your phone. Turning off the internet for 24 hours. 
do something new and create new habits. Do things differently and changes will occur. Say words or do an action as soon as your intrusive thoughts appear. And this won't happen after one or two practices. It takes several days, weeks, months even. But if you are learning a new language at night school, you'd be practicing during the week and you wouldn't expect to be fluent in that language after just a few days of practice. It would take you a long time. Or maybe if you were learning an instrument, musical instrument, it could take a long time to become very good. But the more you practice, the better you become. And this is no different. Maybe for teaching a friend or a child to ride a bike, you wouldn't expect them just to jump on the bike and ride down the road. You'd build up gradually, creating new positive habits for them. Maybe show them how you would do it. With stabilisers. Holding the bike for them until they become confident. This is exactly the same thing. Maybe if you watch TV every night after work or smoke a cigarette or have a drink. Just change that. Instead of sitting on the sofa, go and do something else. Five minutes of weed in the garden or phone a friend. Read, read a magazine for five minutes. That is pattern interruption. You are breaking that pattern. Go for a walk or just do something completely different. Maybe set yourself a small challenge. Thinking of what you could interrupt. What don't you like doing? What don't you like saying to yourself? Maybe write it down and recreate it into something positive. So as soon as you feel negative, oh, I can't do this. Oh, it's all going wrong. I can't do this on my own. I can't do that on my own. Football, shout out a random word. Beef lasagna. Red cars. Because whilst you're doing that, you're not allowing those negative thoughts entry into your mind. And you can let go of these negative thoughts, unwanted thoughts, really outdated, old-fashioned thoughts that used to make you negative, but they don't anymore. And don't look back to think, how did you create this? What went wrong in my life? Because you could spend years and years and years trying to work it out. So just live in the moment. And as soon as you feel something coming that you don't like, throw something completely random at it. Anything you like. And if it's a nice sunny day, go for a walk and look for different things as you go for a walk. Yellow flowers or a pink car or someone wearing shorts and that is a distraction. That's creating a new habit. And every time you do it, change it. So you're constantly creating new positive habits. And the more you do that, the less negative, the less anxious you'll be. Use humour, use laughter. Choosing to see the funny side. And the more you listen to this record and the more able you'll be able to do things differently. Create really good positive habits.